Thank Max, you. we want you to weigh in here. Are Roddy's yeah. comments, comments directed at the right person? They're not. The buck doesn't stop with uh, middle management. It stops with the boss. It's got to stop with Quinn. And especially when Dan Quinn was there on the other side of the ball, having to look helplessly, having to stand by helplessly, because he wasn't in Pete Carroll's position at the time, and watch a passing play be called when a running play should have been called to lose the Super Bowl. And so even if you've given the edict, hey, just keep playing the way we've always played, and Shanahan wants to keep being aggressive, whatever, when as long as you run the ball, you are virtually guaranteed of a Super Bowl win, you just got to run the ball twice. Even if you lose a couple yards, the odds are still overwhelmingly huge. You kick a field goal to make it an 11-point game. Game basically over at that point. Um, the, the, how can the buck be passed for, to anyone but Quinn, ultimately? You've just gone through the experience. You have to, at that point, get a handle on the situation and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's do the right thing here. So the buck would stop with him anyway, but particularly considering his experience, um, I'm surprised it didn't, and, and he got to absorb the blame. I'm Max Kellerman. Thanks for stopping by. Before you go, hit the button below to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a moment of me taking down Stephen A. Smith.